Hope on the Horizon. As we continue our series on breast cancer, we're joined by actress Elizabeth Hurley, spokesperson for the Estee Lauder Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign, and Marissa Acella Marchetto, author of Cancer Vixen, a true story and a breast cancer survivor. Good morning to you both. Hi. Good morning. I'm going to go back to... Uh, uh, where were you last night? We were at Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's last night. Right. We lit it pink as part of the Global Illumination Program. Right. We're doing 200 monuments this, this year alone, this October, to highlight breast cancer. And um, we were also in the store doing a personal appearance, signing loads of merchandise to raise money for the fund. You've done this for several years now. Why are you so passionate about it? I've been going around the world for the last eight years, every October, to raise funds and awareness of breast cancer. I think it's just because so many people I knew were affected by breast cancer. My grandmother died of it. I have three very good friends who were all diagnosed with breast cancer under 40. Actually, and now Marissa, who's also my friend, was also diagnosed right. um, pre-40. As it happens, all these women survived. And it was almost because they survived that I got involved, because they were all detected early. Right. And had they not been, mm. There's a chance they wouldn't be here today. Sure, sure, There's sure. a survival rate yeah. of 98%. If you catch breast cancer early, you have a 98% survival rate. And what rate. year were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed in 2004. And were early, middle? I was stage one. I was very, very lucky. Right. And I have been committed ever since to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation to help find a cure right. in our lifetime. And that's what it's all about. Sure. This is this is the book, Cancer Vixen. Yes, that's it. And me. people, when, once they see you, your, your, your work, they say, oh, I know who that is. Mm -hmm. Take us inside this. What is this really all about? It's about surviving and thriving and kicking cancerous butt and doing whatever you can to be healthy and helping everybody else and really trying to help find a cure. Kicking cancer's butt. Kicking cancer's butt. It's all about <laughs> kicking cancer's butt, yep. dog. And, yeah. yeah. there you and go. it's about kicking cancer off the planet, and that's what, we, that's what we're going to do. During the commercial break, we're having a very animated conversation about mm -hmm. all of that. You move to a farm. You keep an organic farm. Part of this whole conversation is what we put into our bodies. It is. We're really, really passionate about women's health. Everybody's health, but in particular women's health because of the work we do with breast cancer. And we know that um, some cancers can be linked, possibly, to a bad diet. There's a possibility that hormones and antibiotics and food are really bad for women. And so we try to eat as healthily as we can. And we try and tell all the women we know, follow a low-fat diet, mm -hmm. watch that you don't drink dairy and stuff which have hormones in it, because right. it could affect you badly. Sure, sure, sure. Antibiotics and hormones that can cause cancer. Dr. Larry Norton said that he discovered a girl who was 11 years old who had breast cancer. Yeah. So it's you can Incredible. find it early, and it's from the hormones. Yeah. So think. and as we go around the country, and we go into our local department stores, and we see all of these products, what what why why should we focus on some of these products? You know, for the month of October, there are amazing products on sale, mm -hmm. and if you buy some of them, um, all your all the profits of the things are going straight into breast cancer. We want everybody to go to any. Um, Estee Lauder counter around the world in October and pick up a free right. pink ribbon. Yeah. This campaign was started by Estee Lauder's daughter-in-law in, -law in right. 1992. Right. Estee Lauder have given out 80 million pink ribbons today. We want everybody, Amazing. they're free. Yeah. We'd love you to go to the counter. And then we'd love you to buy some things too yeah. um, and, and help raise money. The, the doctors tell us there's only one thing between women dying of cancer today and not dying, and that's money. And money. So we need to, we need to get some more. There you go. Such so, a pleasure to have you. So get the pink so get the little pink card. It packs a powerful punch. And when you buy things at Bloomingdale's, you can help cure cancer. There you go. Well done. Thank you so much, ladies. Do appreciate it. Elizabeth Hurley and Marissa Machado.